is going on guys this year here and we are back on the iscal edit my fucking server that's right guys that's right guys guess what we're doing today anybody want to take a guess oh wrong path wrong path anybody raise your hand um uh, all right you yes we're doing retreat we're going back into a witchery ladies and gentlemen and uh since the last time you guys came over here i don't think you guys saw this in my last video because we're working on that my new furniture shop yeah that's right actually it's mine and legos but um yeah so i made this little walkway remember i was telling you guys i wanted a little walkway to come out so i need to figure out a way to close even though it doesn't really matter i could leave it open yes 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 i know um because we got those little torches that make no mobs spawn over here but still i want to put a little door on there uh, but this comes out to a little patio area so you can just kind of chill over here and there's like a little walkway right and this little walkway lead Give me this. Give me this. That's what we get. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. So somebody was using my stuff, um, and they left me that as a present. Now, if we head on back here, you guys are gonna see. You know, oh, oh, oh! All kind. Of, whoa! Hey, what is this? Okay. Well, that's not supposed to be there. But you guys get to see my cool little witchery area. Oh yeah! Take it in, ladies and gentlemen. Take it in. Look how freaking amazing this looks. Just, just enjoy. That's right. Enjoy it, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So anyways, enough of that nonsense. All right. So this is our little witchery area. Um, I got this from Mackie. It doesn't do anything, right? doesn't do anything. But, 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 but I have been busy. I've been busy, busy, busy. All right. So check this out. Um, a couple of things here. Uh, this little friend and this little friend. You guys ready for this? Okay, so first let me show you guys my altar. Wait, what the? Okay. Oh, does this really give it that much? I just put the moss stuff. It was a so this moss stuff gives like a thousand extra. How freaking crazy is that? All right, so now check this out. We grab a little cup, and where do we want to put a little cup? Right there, now. Bam, nine thousand. You guys ready for this? And this little. Chingadera. Let's take that off. Bam! What are you? Come on. Is it times five? Is that what it does? Let me see. Times three. Oh, so it does. It does. Now, here's a question. If we put a torch and that? No, of course not. Oh, of course not. All right, so cool. That works out pretty nice. All right, so crazy crazy cough attack that's always fun anyways all right so let's just do this real quick um i don't yeah we'll leave it there i want to find out what this is hold on hold on hold on oh well hello there uh, i think somebody's doing oh somebody's looks like they're doing witchery too yeah we got to get ourselves um our like little witches stuff Holy chetos. Hey, we just made one of these. Yeah, one of these. What is it? Wait, is there a difference? Oh, hold on. 9,000? What's the difference? Oh, man. I probably should have read this. Holy jeebus. Oh, that one's way better. His is totally better. <laughs> what is what is mine suck? All right, um, and then this is candle thing better than mine too. Oh, wait, can we just? Ah, oh, it messes it up. Okay, give me that. Now you go back up to twelve thousand. All right. Uh, I don't think there's different types of candles, is there? I don't think so. Uh, nope. All right, so we'll just leave that there. And now, what? What did? What is this? Witch school. Dear Dizzy, I thought that I would write to you about witchery as you're getting into it. The first thing is is ways to improve your altar. These items can improve the power of your skull. Player skull is the best. Okay. Arthena, a dagger. Ooh. Chalice, up. Oh, I already knew about that one. I already knew. Filled is better. Yes. Whatever. Yes. I think I need to make a little soup thing for this for that one, but yeah, we're good. And a ch chandel opera. And not a torch. Oh, gee, thanks. The next thing is about the witch's cauldron. I know it is tempting to put fences beside it, but don't, as they will burn from the fire. 
The next thing about curses, please don't curse me unless it is the werewolf one, which is so cool. Also, please make yourself a werewolf. Thanks for reading. How did he know? Crazy. Oh, uh, that's awesome. So, I'm assuming this is all the stuff he left in here? Oh, this guy's crazy. Crazy about math time? Oh, alright, alright. So, uh, we'll get rid of the werewolf one because we need that. <laughs> and we'll leave that there because that's... Wait. So, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, so that was 1,200. How much is this? Holy jeebus. Well, crazy, uh, you may have just earned yourself a spot on my altar. How does that sound, sir? And then that means we get our wither skeleton back. Alright, cool. Now, next, um, I'm, <laughs> I'm reading the book like if it's really the actual witchery book. Okay, so this is the cauldron, right? Um, there's a couple of things we're going to build this episode. Earmuffs. Can we wear the earmuffs right now? Take that off. Take that on. And then take off this. There we go. How do we look? Oh, we look amazing. We're just going to play with our earmuffs on. If I talk really loud, it's because I can't hear anything. I'm wearing earmuffs, all right? Just a little heads up, guys. Just a little heads up. All right, so I'm not quite sure how wide of a fire spread this does um i really hope it doesn't do it that far or should we just do this somewhere else somewhere else would probably be a better idea oh wait you really can't hear anything oh that's pretty sweet actually if you record this is actually a pretty nifty little thing Oh, that's cool. It turns off all the game sounds. All right, so we'll just we'll we'll try this out in a little bit. Uh, now this Arthena, does it go? On? Holy jeebus! What is it? Times six, fourteen thousand times six. So basically, we have like the most OP altar now. Awesome, awesome. Um, and then we get two extra ones because we built a separate set. All right, so um, what's on a list of stuff? All right, I'm probably not. Should I? Shouldn't I? Should I? <laughs> I'm debating whether I should do it or not. I kind of want to light this and leave it here, but I don't know if that's far enough away from all this stuff. Ooh, it's kind of tricky, guys. Should we do it? Ah, it's like life. We'll do it anyways. We don't have anything we could lose, so we will just go ahead and do it anyways. All right, so we'll just pop that there. And now we have ourselves a little um, witch's cauldron. Cool. All right, now I think I placed uh, infinite water source somewhere. Did I already? I could have swore I did. Okay, maybe not. All right, but anyways, um, you guys gave me some really good advice as far as stuff to build. And one of the things you guys told me that I should build is the witch's, not the witch's oven. Wait, did I already build the witch's oven? Yes, three of them. It goes to the witch's oven. Uh, fume, something fume, these guys, fume funnel. Um, and I do have all this stuff pretty much. So I'm going to build a couple of these guys. And then, um, these are supposedly going to get us, um, a better chances, of, um, getting the little extra things. So totally need that in our lives right now. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we'll place these guys inside there. Good to go. And then, um, yeah, we should be good to go. All right, guys, so let me grab up that stuff. Um, and let's see, what else do we need to do? Oh, in the books, um, someone, shit, I forgot again, <laughs> in the comments left me a comment saying that the books that we were trying to craft up, like these things, uh, collecting fumes and all that stuff, um, we were right, like we were doing it kind of right. Um, it's just that we were using the wrong type of book. The book we we're trying to use was, um, used for something like some kind of writing book or something um and we need just a basic book so lucky for you guys i have me some that and then i have me some paper so i will be crafting up some of these books today because can't really do anything like i mean we could if we really wanted to um but it's kind of difficult to do the, the books or to do the witchery stuff without having the actual book so i'm just gonna go ahead and uh should we waste it all on that? Um, I don't think there's that many books we need, is there? 
collecting fumes. So let's just try this one more time. So it was a feather, an ink sack, and then what was that other thing? A coal, a belladon, and a coal. A belladon and a coal. Bell um, charcoal or, or a coal? I don't know. We'll try both. And then what was the other thing? Belladonna. Oh yeah, Belladonna. Let me just put this up here real quick before I forget. All right, and then we should be good to go. Flowers, flowers. I think I moved all my stuff over there. And uh, did I? I think I did. All right, so let's just go grab ourselves our little Belladonna. Yes, we can do that. We don't need to use the stairs. So cool we are. All right, and Belladonna, Belladonna, Belladonna. No, it's in here. Should be in here. Do I not have any more of those? What? Lies. Why must you trick me? Yes, I know that was annoying. Um, but this is what happens, ladies and gentlemen, when you leave your stuff out and then rival witches come by and they steal your stuff. You run out of it. So... Lucky for us, we can just simply fly over here. Let me just grab up all of this. Oh, look, check this out. So on our little trip to becoming a werewolf, we needed these, right? Wolfsbane. How much wolfsbane we have? Ta -da! That's right. So now we have a whole, whole, whole lot of wolfsbane. Did I pick it up? Or is this really laggy right now? I think we might just be really laggy. Oh, there we go. All right, cool. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plant these guys up, and then we'll have ourselves. You need these in order to um, do the werewolf stuff. So lucky for us, we have that. And then the second part we have is this stuff. So the mandrake. So we get to test. Oh, where do we put our earmuffs? Damn it, did we just leave our earmuffs back there? Alright, let me go get the earmuffs and then we're gonna try it out. Because this, my friends, should be pretty, pretty fun. Um, and I wanna see what it does. Like, to be honest with you, I think, I think, don't, don't quote me on this, but I think the earmuffs, um, they make it so you don't get the little dizziness effect. I like the nausea. We'll see. We'll try it out. Alright, so, <laughs> apparently it doesn't, um, get rid of the nausea all it does is just prevent the screaming and yelling and stuff which is still pretty cool i mean look at this i uh, just picture how annoying right now it would just be with all these little mandrake guys just screaming yeah it would not be very fun holy jeebus i am wrecking this i am totally wrecking this guys although i don't know who really lives here or whose farm this is i just come over here and use the mandrake stuff all the time where are you guys? What are you guys doing? They're like hopping everywhere. All right. Um. So we got that. I'm gonna go get us some bell belladonnas, right? So we can try making our little uh, recipe, and then uh, yeah, we should be good to go. All right. So let me get those things, and I'll meet you guys back at the witchery area. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I know we keep getting sidetracked. I'm like over here trying to do one thing, and end up doing twenty other things. So you guys were right. Like always, you guys are always right. Um, so I do need to craft up all these books. Um, so oh, cool. So okay, so this makes it a little bit easier. Oh man, that's all it does. Okay, whatever. All right, so I'll make a little um, bookshelf. Let's see, can we can we make a bookshelf real quick? All right, so we're back at a little witchery area, and good look what I got. I got myself some bookcases. So now we can actually keep track of all of our books. Um, starting with this guy. Now I still have tons of those little witchery books. So, witchery. And you guys can let me know which book I actually need, but I'm most likely I'm gonna end up getting all of them. So like this guy, collecting fumes, distilling, all of this stuff, the circle magic. Um, Cause we have most of this stuff, like with magic, do I have that? Probably do, right there, look at that, Whoop, magic. So I have almost all the stuff that we need, right? 
Um, so it's just a matter of getting everything organized and then we should be good to go. So let me just um, put away some of this stuff. Um, what can we take out? Take those guys out, put that guy in. And look what I got, guys. Little fume things. I don't know. Is this how? <laughs> Pretty sure that's not how it goes. Let's see. Um, that. Oh, so fancy. Now, I think I'm supposed to click it. All right. Hey, wait, no work. This one doesn't want to work. It doesn't need a block behind it. Maybe. All right, so let's put that one there. And there we go. Now, do you guys know if um, these fume funnels, if the more I add, the more like it increases the chance, or is it just one? Either way, I'm just going to do um, a bunch of them, because why not, right? Because why not? All right, so that should give me a step. Oh, 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 oh. We need these guys. Oh, there we go. All right, so it's not doing every single one, but it still should be a lot better than before. So let's see. Um, no? Yeah. All right, whatever. Whatevs. We'll figure it out. Um, as far as this goes, clay jars, just dump you guys in there. All right, sweet. Okay, so um, I did want to do this while I have you guys here, so you guys can uh, tell me what you guys think about this. So I'm not 100% sure how I want to decorate this, but I did, because this is, um, right, that makes sense, because the dirt, the trodden dirt is just, like, see how this path right here goes this way, right? And as we come through here, obviously we're going to keep going to our cauldron and then back over here. So I'll add some more of this little trodden dirt in there. And then um, I'll break it apart with some gravel and some coarse dirt. And you guys can tell me, like I said, what you guys think about this. Because for me, I think it's just going to make it look pretty. Pretty, pretty. You guys know me. Everything has to look good. Or just function in general. Or both. If it does both, that's that's like a hundred times better. <laughs> oh no, did we just turn the right? Yeah, whatever. What if? Um, but remember how I showed you guys that Joe, uh oh, and Scalda gave me a bucket full of, um, what's that called? This stuff, so check it out, I'll show you guys right now. So, they, so I came back to my shop and then I found that there was this little barrel full of um, smoldering grass blocks. So check this out. What I totally forgot was when you harvest this up, it doesn't turn into a grass. So like, let's just say we put this down like, like so. And we have regular, okay, this might get a little confusing, but follow along, okay? If we were to harvest this up, look what happens. It creates coarse dirt. What? Yeah, and for those of you that know me, what have I been trying to get this whole time? Give up? Coarse dirt. Coarse dirt. Um, why? Because this, ladies and gentlemen, is used in the trodden dirt um, recipe. So you actually need coarse dirt. This doesn't work with regular dirt and sand. And that's what. That's how you get that. So um, aside from that, I don't really think anything else takes advantage of the coarse dirt. But I thought that was pretty sweet that they they remembered and they were like, hey, uh, it doesn't dizzy like this crap. <laughs> and literally, it was crap to them because um, they were avoiding it. They were avoiding it and then they remembered, oh yeah, dizzy likes this stuff for some odd reason. Yep, dizzy does like it. Oh, and check this out. Okay, so I was thinking too, uh, when I went through here, I bone mealed. If you notice, see how there's like bone meal right here, right here. Um, I only bone mealed the areas where there were sunlight. All right, so if you look up, there should be a little cracks of sunlight. Um, and that's cut in forests, like if you actually go out into a forest, like in real life, um, you'll notice that around the trees, um, a lot of the time it's all dead. Like, there, because no light gets in there. So there'll be like dead spots everywhere. Um, or it'll just be smashed, like lots of leaves just smashed. And there's not really a lot of vegetation that's growing around. But in between the trees, there's like big tall grass and stuff like that. 
So I thought I would do that. Um, so now I'm just gonna add little spots of dirt next to trees. Um, and then, yeah. I'm telling you guys, I get so sidetracked doing this stuff. And for the simple reason that there's like, when I get excited to play something, I want to have like a cool little looking, or a cool looking area. So can't have, can't just be playing in some whatever area, right? We gotta have something fun to look at. Cause if it's not fun, then what's the point? All right, um, so I think we pretty much have everything we need. All right, I'm just gonna get a couple more things. Um, I'm just gonna plug this up for now. And then I'll grab some trotting dirt and come back and fill this up. Uh, but yeah, I just want to get your guys' viewpoint on um, if you guys think that little witch's cauldron is going to look cool next to the altar or if we should just build our own little thing. Um, because I am going to build a witch's house. Um, I just don't know how I want to build it. I know that I'm going to make it look kind of like creepy or like, I don't know, like a witch's hut, right? Um, and you guys gave me some pretty good ideas. Um, I'm still taking in suggestions or advice on how to build it. Um, but I think this area over here might be good. Um, I want to keep it fairly close to this because I don't want to move it too far away. Um, but yeah, so like there'll be like a little path going through here. Dun, 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 dun. Boom, boom. And this will be like a little house. Right, because you, you'll still be able to see spawn, but we'll have the little forest and I'll take all these trees out and make this into like the little witch's forest. So, guys, unfortunately, that's gonna do it for this episode. So I know, I know we thought we were gonna get all kinds of crazy stuff, witchery stuff done, but trust me, I have plans. I have plans, ladies and gentlemen, and it's gonna be freaking amazing. Um, I might just do like two or three different witchery episodes, cause you guys seem to be enjoying it. And this is realistically uh, the only mod pack um, slash server that I play on that has witchery that would make sense to play it and do it. So uh, we might be doing a lot more witchery here guys. A lot. So more building, more witchery coming at you. But hey, hey, if you did enjoy this episode, make sure you go down there right now, smash that like button. It lets me know you guys are enjoying this series and it gives me all kinds of motivation to keep making you guys more videos. And hey, if this is the first time you checked out my channel, why don't you uh, head on down there and uh, subscribe? Because that's the only way you're going to find out when I make new videos. So uh, go down there right now. Subscribe. We'll wait for you. We're waiting. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's going to do it for me. I'm Dizzy Aaron and I am out.